Okay guys, it's me Imad. So today we are going to learn about how to control an RGB LED with that of Arduino Nano. So first of all we will try to open our online simulator that is Wokfi. So click on wokfi.com in Google and here we have four of our major microcontrollers that is Arduino, ESP32, Pi Pico and STM32. So you need to click on Arduino. And here we have a lot of projects and a lot of microcontrollers again. That is Mega, Nano, Juno, a tiny and Franzinino. Okay. So we can go and click on Arduino Nano. Here we got our Arduino microcontroller that is Arduino Nano. Now we can press Ctrl and plus sign so that we can see it properly. Now we can even even read the pin numbers that is da d7 d6 and all these okay so we will go and we will take our rgb led so this is our rgb led okay so we can click on this com pin we will click on ground okay we can click on ground we can connect this common pin with that of ground and uh, you have you must know that there are three pins one is called as the r pin one is called as the g and one is called as the b pin that is red green and blue pin because all the colors are actually the amalgam of three colors which are red blue and green that is rgb so what we need to do is to connect this r pin to the pin number uh, 6 okay you can connect it with 3 5 and 6 because these three pin of the Arduino Nano are the PWM pins PWM pin pins means that we we can send pulse width modulated signal on these pins okay and with the help of this PWM we can control our LED that is RGB so we have connected it out like this and d6 d5 d4 and d3 so d3 okay so okay okay so okay so this is our circuit you can see it now we also need to click on this uh, LED and we can change it to common cathode because common cathode needs to be connected with that of ground of the microcontroller. So now in wired setup we will write pin mode sorry pin mode 3 comma output because we have to declare pin number 3 as the output. Pin number 5 is the output and pin number 6 is also the output okay because this is necessary pin number three five and six pin number three five and six so this is wide loop so this is three five and six so here we have one function which is called as the analog write. So what sort of function it is? Actually it will uh, generate a PWM signal. How it used to generate? First you need to write the name of the pin and then we will write any number in between 0 and 255. So it will actually it, it, it is the uh, duty cycle okay duty cycle of the PWM. So if we, we used to write 3 comma 100 means that we have selected 100 okay out of 0 to 250 we can we can select any sort of number we can put any sort of number here which is in between 0 and 255 analog write 3 comma 100 3 comma uh, 3 and 5 comma 100 and 6 comma 100. So three five and six and here we will write 
a delay of 100 which is actually a 100 millisecond delay so now we need to run it out and we will see that our LED has uh, is giving us the green light now okay now we will make a loop that is for that is for int a is equal to 0 a is less than 255 and a plus plus okay so this is the for loop the for loop for int a is equal to 0 a is less than 255 and a plus plus and we will write here just a so every time the the loop runs okay a first uh, the value of a will be 0 and then it will go to the 255 okay okay so we will run, uh, and also we need to write 500 millisecond delay okay so now it will change its color okay now you you will see it will change its color okay from yellow to green and then okay just used to give like this uh, greenish yellow color and like this okay and here if we used to write okay like uh, b and uh, sorry sorry it's not a it's a oh wait let 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 me change it out this is not this it is three okay three comma a and five comma hundred okay so so like this okay you need to write like this so now it will change its color now you can see that it is changing its color step by step so it is three comma a okay so now we need to write here a as well then we will see now r and g color also used to change okay so okay well let me let me change its color so it is 3a 5a and like this okay so 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 if we, if we write any sort of value we can get any sort of color like here if we use write 255 then what it used to give us now it is pure red and then orange okay uh, due to this color that a variable so in this way we can get any sort of color of our own choice with the help of this rgb led so hopefully you got the concept so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe